So over the last couple of days, we found even more evidence of the Cops and Crooks DLC that was supposed to come this summer instead of the summer special we got. And in this video, I'll just be showing you guys what exactly the new evidence is. First off, if you haven't checked out the previous video where I've gone over pretty much everything we knew a couple of days ago regarding the Cops and Crooks DLC and how it was the actual DLC planned for this summer, I leave a link to that in the description. But continuing off of that, I mentioned if I found any more information or if we found as a community, if we found any more information on this Cops and Crooks mode, like in the game files and stuff, I would let you guys know well, here that is. This first thing is actually not something in the game files. It's actually something that you can go ahead and see in online. And this is real interesting because it kind of means there was going to be some new weapons. And what, of course, I'm talking about is the ammunition. So if you go to the ammunition shop, there's two things to note. Number one they did actually move two weapons from the wall they put them inside of the cases they moved the i think it's the golden revolver whatever that's called and the compact like the handheld grenade launcher these were on the wall prior to this update but now as you can see they are in the case with the explosives now we didn't get any new weapons in this update so it's strange how that happened the second thing, and I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comment section if I am wrong here, but obviously there are some new spaces on the wall, but you can actually like scroll to them. Now, I don't, and this is what you guys can correct me on in the comment section. I don't know if this is how it always used to be, but you can clearly see I'm going to go from whatever the weapons are to the left, and then I can go to the right, and there's like five new spaces that I can go over that the game just says like no weapon available or whatever it says. So it's strange not only how they moved two weapons to the case to give us more room, and then now you can kind of hover over these empty spaces. If that's how it's always been, then obviously this isn't a big deal. But if it hasn't been like this, then it's almost as if Rockstar had like five weapons planned. They obviously removed them because the Cops and Crooks DLC didn't come out but they forgot to remove our characters actually being able to like hover over those slots. So that's like the first thing. And that's actually one of the more notable ones, just because it's something that Rockstar like literally forgot in GTA online. All this other stuff is coming from the game files, but this is something in the actual game play itself. So that's, that's number one. Number two, kind of off of that same topic of new weapons it looked like according to the game files there was going to be some new weapons regarding flashbang grenades and stun grenades so in the game files this is the lines of code that were there you can see leftovers of flashbang grenades and stun grenades it just says you know tag flash grenade and then tag stun grenade Someone also found a bunch of new particle effects added with this update. And you can see that they have to do with the flashbang and the stun grenade. And here's actual gameplay of what those effects are. This is, I'll leave a link to this guy's post on Twitter who found this, but check this out. You can actually see the, the stun grenade, I believe, which is first and the flash grenade, which is second. And if I actually slow it down here, you can see, which I'm assuming to be a stun grenade, you can see like the, the uniqueness of the explosion. It has that stun effect, like the, the wave effect. The second one, however, is just, it looks like a normal sort of explosion. And then the final thing that some people also found in like some of the other languages in the game files, because obviously there's English, but then there's a bunch of other languages. Rockstar forgot to remove some of these lines from the other languages. And one of the things apparently, I guess in the German file, there was a string, a line of text that said, you cannot modify police vehicles. Like if you go in the game at the moment and try and modify a police vehicles, that's what it tells you. But now after the update, it actually says you cannot modify stolen police vehicles. 
if they weren't making the cops and crooks DLC, why all of a sudden would they change that? So one would assume because it says stolen there in the cops and crooks DLC, you were able to buy police vehicles. And apparently that same line was found in a bunch of the other languages. I guess this is what it says in the Portuguese one, the Mexican one, the Italian one, even the Spanish one, perhaps. But the English one is what the one that I guess they actually changed back. So that's sort of three things that again, just man, it really sucks. We didn't get that cops and crooks DLC because I, I think it sounds like it could have been really cool, but maybe we will see that for the winter update. And one thing I just will say regarding those stun grenades and flash grenades, and you guys can of course let me know your thoughts in the comments, but that is interesting. I don't exactly know how that would work in like a PVP mode because this game isn't like, like a Call of Duty or something where those grenades could be useful. Maybe these were just mainly for missions. I mean, I'm sure if you're a cop, you're not trying to go in and kill everything. So they have to make these that flash people or stun people. So you, then you can go in and maybe arrest them. The only thing, and you might've seen it in the game. You might be seeing it in the gameplay. There was a modder that joined my session, put a bunch of stuff on me. I could only imagine what would happen if a modder got access to these things, you know? You'd be stunned and flashed forever on PC. That's the struggle we live over here. But let me know your thoughts in the comments though. More police content. I mean, after these two videos, I don't know how you can say there hasn't or there wasn't gonna be a Cops and Crooks DLC. I am just hoping we do eventually one day get it because all this stuff sounds awesome. I really hope they didn't make all this stuff for nothing. Because I mean, who wouldn't? want to buy their own police vehicle customize it and then stash it at like maybe one of the police stations they bought as a property and then go on a mission where you actually have to stun people and and arrest them rather than just straight up kill them man it would be such a refreshing change of pace in gta line that i just i really 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 hope we get this one day but let me know your thoughts. Thank you all for watching. Please drop the like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.